What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna take a look at the guide here, updating the Legion Go to the new stable 24.9.1 GPU driver and adrenaline software that AMD has put out. It's been out for just over a week or so. I'm a little late on the video, but I wanted to get it up there because the stable driver seems to be better than the preview one that we did in the past that we've all been running, so I wanted to check it out. This is a guide that we shouldn't need. I'm pretty disappointed in Lenovo being so slow and seven months behind on GPU drivers right now, making the device very difficult to work with sometimes but let's get into it here with the guide. So we're going to start off by taking a look at what I got here, the 2420-1101. This was the preview driver that we've had. It originally came out around September 2nd, and it's a September 2nd dated driver. Most of us have been running that for a little bit now to get through some of the issues of not having an updated driver from Lenovo. So what you're going to need to do this, of course, just like the last guide, is the DDU uninstaller for your graphics driver the stable version for the 7840U driver here. I'll have all these links in the description for you, which will run us that new 24.9.1 stable. And then there's release notes, which I'll also put in the description for you if you wanna go take a look at those so you can see what the update's all about. Pretty much brings us to that preview driver, plus a little bit better as far as I understand. So you wanna get that downloaded as far as your driver goes there. I've already got mine downloaded and ready to go. And then we're gonna have our DDU software downloaded as well here. So I'll go ahead and grab that again right there. So get those ready to go and download on your device. And you can go ahead and do your extraction of the DDU software before we go into safe mode. So I'll just go ahead and hold on to that and do extract all. And we'll do the rest of this once we get over into safe mode. And my last guide, I didn't use safe mode. And if you want to check that method out, uh, I'll put a link to that as well. You certainly don't need to use safe mode to do this. But a lot of you has asked me to do safe mode in my next guide. So that's what we're going to do here. So now that we're ready to go, we're going to go into settings. We're going to go to system. And then we're going to come down here to recovery. And then we're gonna to come to advanced startup and restart now. This is gonna be how we head into safe mode. There's other ways to do it, of course. I'm just gonna show you this method uh, for you. So once it restarts on that, we're gonna have this kind of flipped around here and you're gonna to wanna to come down to troubleshoot. So we've got continue, use a device and then troubleshoot right here. And then advanced options. And then right there, you're gonna have startup settings. So it's the second one down here, startup settings. And then we're going to need to do a restart before we get into safe mode. A couple of steps to get through here. And again, you don't have to do it this way, but I wanted to show it because a lot of you were asking. So number four is going to be our enable safe mode. I'm just going to tap the screen, which is going to bring up the keyboard. Some of you have said this hasn't worked for you. This has worked for me every time, and I don't know another way to bring up the keyboard here, so I'm not sure, but tap the screen to bring up the keyboard, hit number four, and then the Legion Go is going to automatically boot into safe mode. I've never had this not work or fail on me. It's probably going to be in this portrait mode. We're going to go ahead and flip this around to uh, landscape mode or landscape flipped rather is what you're going to need here. So let's go back and we'll do landscape flip. This is just, you don't have to do this. You can do it right in portrait mode if you want. It's just easier for me to record and work this way if I flip it real quick. Now we're going to go ahead and go back into our downloads that we had ready and we're going to do our uninstaller. So I'm going to open that file folder that we extracted. I'm going to double click on the DDU. We're going to run and extract this. And extract. And then it's going to open up for us another folder, go in there, and then display driver on installer right here. Double click that. It's going to open up the software. Now at the very bottom, you'll have that checked off to prevent Windows from checking for updates. You want to make sure that's checked off. And also always go into your Windows settings pretty much every day and make sure your Windows updates are still paused and not resuming, or it's going to overwrite your, your graphics driver. You're going to have to do this all over again until Lenovo gets us a proper update. So we'll click GPU and AMD right there on the right hand side on those drop down menus. And we're going to do the clean and restart option at the top since we are in safe mode. So once it cleans out all the driver stuff, it's going to automatically restart and take us back into normal mode here. So that's finished up, restarted, and we're back into regular desktop. Now we can install our driver now that we're cleaned up and ready to go. So I'm going to double click on that driver that we downloaded from the site. Click yes here. It's going to run and then it's going to wind up failing. At least that's the way I've always seen it happen and it's always worked for me. Um, so it's going to go through, try to do its install, and it's going to do a oops, something went wrong. We're going to close that. That's what we want to happen. That's fine. And now we're going to go into our device manager. However you want to get there, search for it, go to control panel, whatever. Device manager. And then you're going to see display adapters up here. And that should say Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. And we're going to want to update that to this new graphics driver that we have. So I'll open that up. We're going to go to driver. We're going to go update driver. We're going to browse my computer for, for drivers. 
We're going to let me pick from a list of available drivers. We're going to click have disk down here. We're going to click uh, browse to pick our own file here. Now it's automatically going to open me up to my file folder here, um, which is where we want to be to grab this, uh, this file, INF file. But I'm going to show you where to go. We'll go back to this PC, C drive. There's going to be an AMD folder. Open that. AMD software installer. Into packages. To drivers. Into display. And then you'll have that file right here, the WT. There we go. And that's ready to go. That has everything in here we need. So what we're going to do is this file down at the bottom. We're going to click on that, that INF file. Open it up. We'll click OK. And that's going to give us our list of available drivers to install. Scroll down here until you get to the 780M graphics, which we'll see right here. So go ahead and highlight that, 780M graphics. We'll click next, click yes, and then it's going to go ahead and do the install. Once that's finished, you'll be able to click close here, close both of these out, and then it's going to refresh the device manager here, and you should see AMD Radeon 780M graphics uh, right there installed, ready to go. Now we still need our adrenaline software, though, just like past guides with the preview driver. So we're going to go through all that again and go back to the same place we were just at. So we're going to open up into this PC to see AMD software installer packages, drives, or drivers, display, our file folder WTA there, and then you'll see this kind of lettered number folder right here. We're going to want to open that up, and you're going to scroll down until you find that CCC2 install. That's what you're going to want to run to install Adrenaline. We'll double click that, click yes, and this is going to install our Adrenaline software so we get all the features, and we can use AFMF2 and all that good stuff in the app. And then once that's finished, we can close and then it's going to pop up in our apps uh, and we'll have that available to open. At this point, I would then restart the go again um, and then you'll be ready to go with all the install of the new drivers and adrenaline. I would definitely go ahead and restart at this point. But you can see I have the 2491 now dated for September 26. We're on a stable version of the driver with all the AFMF2 features and all of that here. If you had hotkeys and stuff set up on your past adrenaline, you may need to redo all of that and get it set up again. I have the hotkeys on the back of my Go so I can activate and deactivate AFMF2 here really quickly in Silent Hill 2, and I'll just show that working. So highly recommend setting your hotkeys up in Legion Space to uh, control these features from the adrenaline app. It's just easier when you're in game. I can click that back button, disable those again right here, turn AFMF2 off. And uh, you can see the Legion Space overlay, which I hate their overlay, uh, react there. So, yeah, I think as far as I understand it, we are seeing some better game performance with this stable version. AFMF2 is supposed to be working pretty well. I'm going to get deeper into it. We'll test some more games out and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, this is a pretty easy process. And when I'm not filming or making a guide, I can do it in five minutes or less myself. It's not a big deal, but... It's something that no one should have to do. It's something enthusiasts should be able to do for the fun of it and for testing. It's becoming a necessity to sideload this driver if you want to play newer games that are coming out. Final Fantasy 16 will not play on the OEM driver, which is dated for April. So it's almost seven months old at this point. And newer games are really struggling. They crash or don't run at all or have poor performance. Not all games, but a lot, especially newer ones. So this is a big issue for me right now with the Legion Go that I really want to see straightened out it's not hard to do the side loaded driver and i certainly don't mind but it shouldn't be something that you pretty much at this point have to do when you get your go anyways guys i hope the guide was helpful for you hopefully lenovo will put out an official driver that we can get through space soon and we can test that out and hopefully it has all the features including afmf2 all right guys thanks a lot for coming to check out the video as always i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one